Don't you ever ask them why If they told you you would cry So just look at them inside Teach Your Children Well is a fantastic guitar song that features boom chuck style rhythm but if you're not familiar with this don't worry we're going to go over it step by step in this lesson. So the first thing we'll talk about is going to be the chords we're going to be using. It's mostly open chords in this song. There's going to be an A chord, there's going to be a D chord, and there's going to be a G chord. Now every once in a while this B minor bar chord does come up. Now if you can't play a full bar chord yet, that's okay. You can always use the bottom three strings with fingers one, two, and three. All right, frets two three and four on strings one two three so fortunately for you guys this b minor chord is only going to pop up once in the bridge section but in all the verses and choruses it's all open chords so we can keep this one fairly simple so speaking of keeping it simple because that's what we do here on this channel my name is lauren bateman if you don't know me and i help you guys make guitar Makes sense. And we're going to start with the foundation of this boom chuck rhythm. And, you know, if you're a little bit more late beginner towards the end of this video, I will show you how to spice it up a little bit more if you're interested. So let's talk about boom chuck. Okay, what is it? Boom and chuck. So the boom comes from the low end or the base of the guitar, while the chuck comes from the high end or the treble. So the lower strings of the guitar. It'll sound like this. So there's your boom chuck. Boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. Kind of like a very, very common old school style, like country type rhythm, but that's what they're using here uh, in this, this song here. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just playing the low bass note. Okay, so on the G chord, it's gonna be the top six string. And then you're kind of strumming the bottom three or four strings of the chord. We're not strumming the whole chord again. We're letting the bass note ring out, boom chuck boom chuck now on the uh, d chord we would be hitting the fourth string okay boom chuck and then on the a string we're going to be hitting the fifth string as our boom so that's our bass note that open a string and then chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck boom chuck now that B minor chord is also a five string chord, so you would be playing the fifth string, boom, and then chuck on the rest. If you're using the easier B minor, it's not gonna sound the greatest, but you can still kind of do a little bit of a boom chuck, or you can just forget the boom and just do all down strums on that B minor chord. Now the good thing about this song is that the verses and choruses are very repetitive, but we're gonna be doing something slightly different in the bridge, and we'll talk about that in the second. The chord progression that's gonna repeat for most of this song is gonna be two D chords, two G chords, two D chords, and two A chords. So it would sound like this if we start with the D chord. One, two, three, now to G. One, two, three, four. Back to D. Now A. One, two, three, four. And that's what you're gonna be playing over both the verses and choruses of this song. But like I said, the bridge is gonna be a little different. There's a bit of a change that comes in on this bridge section. It starts off the same. We have those two Ds, the two Gs, the two Ds. But then we're gonna play this B minor chord for two measures. And we're gonna hold that over the word sigh. Um, so just look at them and sigh. So you can see there we're playing two B minors, okay, two measures of B minor, only one measure of the G chord this time, and then we have this A chord that comes in, and we're gonna strum that and mute it very quickly. So all that together would be B, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and G and two and three and four and one, and then 
you can see with my right hand very quickly, once I play that A chord, I'm muting it with my strumming hand, okay? So if I played that bridge section for you a little bit more up to speed, it would sound like this. Don't you ever ask them why If they told you you would cry Just look at them and sigh And know they love you Now if you're looking for a way to take this kind of the next level and have it sound a little bit more like, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, we would use what's called a boom chucka pattern. So we had boom chuck. Now what's boom chucka? So we're gonna throw in an up strum. And when you listen to the record on this, I think it's very important to note that the band improvises. So they're not using the same pattern every single time. It varies. So what is boom chucka first? So it would be the same boom, the bass note, boom. And then we're gonna do down up. So it's gonna be boom chucka, boom chucka. Now they don't do this every time. Sometimes I'm hearing them go boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, -a, boom chuck. Okay, I hear that sometimes. Or sometimes I hear boom chuck, -a, boom chuck, boom chuck, -a, boom chuck. All right, so you can intermingle these boom chucks with the boom chucka. I don't think they're consistently doing one or another. I think there is some improvisation. So for example, this is a two measure pattern that I heard in the intro of the song when I was listening to the recording. So it was boom, chuck, boom, chucka, boom, chuck, boom, chucka, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chucka, boom, chucka. So it'd sound like this. One more time, ready? Boom chuck, boom chuck a boom chuck, boom chuck a boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck a boom chuck a. You can freely alternate between boom chuck and boom chuck a, but that is definitely a way to take the strumming for this song to the next level and make it sound a little bit more like the recording. Now, if you guys really enjoyed learning about this boom chuck and boom chuck a pattern, you can go check out the Johnny Cash video right over there where we'll explore this just a little bit more.